Um, so the original idea was um, uh, exploring collaborative ideas. We extended that a bit to ideas and pictures, as I'll explain in, in a moment. But um, just to say that uh, this was a, 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 a pitch I, I proposed and I was joined um, by Mario Antonio Letty and Robin Wilson on my team. Um, yeah, so the, the original problem was that um, many great ideas are, are presented at collaborations workshops. Um, initially, I was thinking about collaborative ideas, but of course, there were also the hack day pitches. And uh, both of those, at least um, for this year, were um, created under a Creative Commons license. So we thought it would be great if, if there was a way to explore all these ideas and make them findable and accessible um, for for participants at the workshop and so on. Um, so we thought a bit about this and quickly came up with the idea of uh, creating a website, um, which might be created using Hugo or, or Jekyll and in the end of event for Hugo. And uh, the, the features we wanted were to be able to um, assign categories and tags to the, the different um, ideas and pitches. Um, so that there would be a way to, to filter them and um, possibly a, a search functionality um, so that to allow full flexible search. Um, um, but beyond this, we also wanted a way to, to include metadata um, so that um, we could build or other people could build on this in future by extracting data and, uh, and analyzing it further. So, so what's new? Well, well, this is an entirely new resource. So the, the uh, past ideas and pictures have sort of been a bit hidden in, in, uh, in the records. So this is a, a, a way of making them more accessible. And uh, rather than just being um, all put in a, in, a, in a drive somewhere, they'll, they'll now be categorized with tags um, so that people can look up on a particular topic or other other categories. So um, this is cool because it will allow people to, to look at past ideas, um, get some inspiration, see where their current idea fits in with what's been proposed before, so you're not reinventing the wheel, and uh, identify um, other people that are interested in these topics as possible people that you could work with, uh, especially if they're at the current workshop and it would be good to connect with them. And it is also potentially useful for organizers to give them ideas of things um, that perhaps have been uh, um, been dropped and not taken forward and that could be worked on at, at future workshops. Right, I'm going to take over now. I'm Robin. Um, so we put all our code on GitHub under the MIT license. We've got a detailed readme and a very detailed contributing guide. Um, we took the approach of converting the collaborative ideas and pitches into Markdown. Uh, we used the Google Docs extension for doing that. That's all fully documented in the contributing guide, how to take the Markdown, anything you need to do to it, and then how to add the metadata on the top. The metadata is a chunk of YAML at the top of the Markdown, which is the standard way of doing things for static site generators like Hugo and Jekyll, uh, but also because it's YAML, it can be read by any other tool, any other language. So you could do some analysis on the metadata later on. Uh, we've automated things as much as possible. The Hugo website is built on a existing pre-existing template, so we weren't re reinventing the wheel, but we've added a number of individual pages that are useful for our particular use case. Uh, we have GitHub Actions giving an automatic deployment to GitHub pages, and this is all fully sustainable. Everything's open, everything's in standard formats, there's no lock-in, uh, deployment is automated, and there's no hosting costs because it's all on GitHub pages. So if we just go back out to that, you can see uh, here's our repo. Um, we've got all the details here. We've got issues in our repo as well with things we need to work on. Um, and this is our detailed um, guide on how to convert a idea to Markdown, clean up the Markdown and add the relevant metadata. This results in something like this. So this is the collaborative collaborations workshop um, ideas and pictures webpage. You get a few random ideas to begin with. You can look by tags. Um, so you can click on reproducibility, for example, and see with see various things there. If you click on a on an item, you get the full details, including pictures and, and diagrams and so on. Um, you can also filter by year. So you can look at the ones from this year and last year. Um, you can look at which ones were hack days and which ones were collaborative ideas. And you can search 
for quite a lot of stuff. So you could search for the idea I came up with earlier, which is depth. Or if you search for Heather's name, then you Thank find you, Robin. the ideas that she contributed. Amazing. Thank you so much, team.